Old Ezra, seven-year rye. Is this the best MGP rye that's out there? Watch the episode. We'll let you know. Welcome back to Exploring Whiskey. All right, so today we are going to do the Old Ezra number seven rye. We're switching up. We're going to go with the rye version here. This rye, I want to say it came out last year, 2022, yeah. I think is when this bottle came out. Uh, but for the longest time, Old Ezra number seven was probably the value to proof. Like, it was there. Yeah, like, uh, the, for if sure. you can, one, it's, every once in a while it's hard to find. But if you can find it at a regular price for the amount of proof that you're going to get off of a bourbon, it's it's just like, it's tops. Yeah. 60, 70 bucks, I think. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. This is their rye. All right, so it's a little bit more it's about 80 bucks is the msrp for this guy mm -hmm. but it is a foolproof release and i don't remember Jeez. if the bourbon is foolproof or barrel proof and i don't remember the I it's barrel proof that. it's barrel proof all yeah. right so foolproof and, and there is a legal definition difference to this uh. foolproof means whatever proof you put it in the barrel is what you put it in the bottle okay it has to equal so they put it in the barrel at 114. It probably went up a little bit with the angel share and they proofed it back down to 114. That's what Weller does. It's full proof, not barrel proof. Ah. Barrel proof means whatever it is by the time it's done. When it comes out, it goes right in. As soon as what it, whatever it comes out is, is what it goes into the, the bottle at. Okay. So there is, a, there is a difference here. So that's the reason why it's perfectly 114. When most uh, barrels are like 0.2 or 0.3 or whatever, that, you know, the difference is there. So. That's good to know. I did not know yeah, that. There's a, there's a difference. Legal difference between those two. What else do we know? Um, Ezra. So Ezra Brooks, this, this line itself has been around 50-ish plus years. Uh, owned by the Luxco. Luxco Group, yeah. 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 Which is, all right, I don't know legally which way it went. They either bought MGP or MGP bought them. I'm not sure. But they are now directly related to MGP. Oh. That happened. This is like, like early 90s, right? I guess, no, or? no, no. This happened like two years ago. Oh. Like okay. it was 2021, I think, that they did that, that, kind of, that merger. I want to say it's 2021. It might have been 2022. It's it's very recent that that happened. So Lux Row would have had a... I mean, it seems like it would be MGP bought then. I don't know. I don't know for a fact, but... See, I agree. Oh, my god! It was... I, you Imagine. would think MGP, right. which is huge, would buy Lux Row. But the way most of the uh, reports came out, Lux Row bought them. But I don't really understand how they could afford to do that. And it... Like... Yeah. Just like my company was bought, but they took my name. Okay. They took my company's name. Right. So I feel like it's a little bit more that. Kind of along the lines of, uh, well, not Penelope. And, uh, no, Penelope's saying label. their own thing. They got bought by MGP. Whether well, here's our juice. Uh, yeah. We'll now you got you better access labeling. to our. Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's anything. very different. Yeah. All yeah. right. So obviously, seven year old. Mm hmm. It is rye. It, the mash bill is the like minimum legal rye. It is 51% rye. Is uh, uh, it's corn heavy? 40. Wait, no, it's a blend. That's I forgot. So it's some of their 50. MGP makes two separate ryes. They have their 95.5, right, right, which be... generally I poo poo. Mm -hmm. uh, and <laughs> just uh, you could do good things with it. But straight up 95.5 is not my flavor profile. Or, and they also make like a 51% rye. And I want to say it's 30 something, high 30% corn, and then malted barley is like 10 to 12%, something along those lines. So uh, it's a blend of those two. They don't actually release what the blend is. Like okay. If it's 60, 60 40, 40, or 40, 40, 70, 30, yeah. or whatever, they don't do yeah. that. But they kick this off with a very, very limited 18,000 bottles. Which is pretty limited for a company that size. Yeah. So that's what, how they started this guy. I mean, especially with the label being identical. 
to the bourbon. The coloring is a little bit different. Yeah, got the green greenish on, and with the gold versus yeah. a, it's more black and yeah, black is it gold or bronze? Maybe I don't. I'm not sure. Yeah, the main color is black, but I think that's really the only difference. But let's see. It's not a bad nose. Mm. That almost smells more like high ride bourbon than it does high like a rye. For sure. I mean, I get, I get, I get a lot of spice. Yeah, but there's a lot of sweet notes in there. Yeah, a lot of sweet notes in there. Oh, and uh, yeah. So we did say proof was one fourteen. Right. Yeah. One fourteen. Very solid. Very very solid proof. Not crazy. Not uh, not gonna kill you. Solid proof though. Yeah. On the nose, I get rye, but I get high rye bourbon. Like I get some sweet caramels and things like that. Same thing. Right there. Burp. I get I get herb. I got, I, got, I got the I mean I got the herbal notes. Yeah, but, it's very herbal. Ah, uh, but so sweet. Brown sugars, caramels. Because it, you're totally it. right. It's 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 very. All these herbal notes, at the very beginning, and then it it gets really kind of sweet. Yeah. In a nice way. I mean, yeah. it's a it's a good combination of. Those like it's a balance. It's a good balance. Mm -hmm. That's the words that I'm going for. Yeah, I think you get that from six. Six and a half, seven year plus rye whiskeys. That, MGP, that is, yeah. That. MGP, when you, when you cross over into that six to seven year, I mean, look at that. Rye does, like, it just pulls up. Fun things. Dots. And it's crazy. I looked at your, like, do you see that? There's, hold on. Just wait, cling. Wait for this, it. Like the wait, have, oh, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, there's a lot of sugars in this guy. But man, the, the very beginning, really herby, really. Um, I want to say, I always use this, but mint is kind of the, I'm not getting a big pepper spice by any means, mm -mm. but I get like a minty note. I get like good herbal notes. And mm -hmm. then it's like the sweet notes at the end really balance it well. Yeah. I get the star, the star anise, the, the clove, but then it, it completely, yeah, it just evolves into this sweetness of, I mean, not quite butterscotch, but it's like this creamy sweetness oh you're great. in the right ballpark though butterscotch is not far off of what it is like if, if you could somehow do an herbal spice on a butterscotch yeah i don't know what that is but it's a yeah. weird, weird cough drop i guess a really weird cough drop delicious cough drop oh. I, I... this is a bottle that oh cocktails for days mm. but i don't want to <laughs> i don't want to buy it is an 80 dollar bottle but man, a cocktail with that would be rock even solid. Just, even just a, just a re, even just your stock old fashioned or, or Manhattan, those notes playing with the sweet vermouth or playing Ooh, with your the dad bod with the stout, oh, simple syrup, man, would or play really well with that. Or the sugar cookie, man. God, yeah, absolutely, that, that would play really well with that as well. You want to see what water does to her? All right, what do we? I think I think, I think the rye is going to kick up. I think I think it's going to get spicier. Oh, you th really? Yeah. You think it's going to go the I other think way? It's going to go away even and get sweeter. Further. Yeah, I think it's going to get sweeter. See, uh, I, I'm just I'm expecting the rye herbals and and things like that to kind of come up even stronger. I think you're right in the nose. Yeah, I got I got a little more herbal on the nose, sir. But, <laughs> that doesn't necessarily mean it uh, translates. We'll see. But in a good way. I was just going to say it's not that it's more of a high rye bourbon nose like the. I, okay, you know what I'm saying like the it, harsh. It's, like, I, I'm not it's still not the, 95 five. That harsh, like aggressive nose that that generally comes off of the 95 rise. Mm. But right now, off the nose, I'd prefer it. Oh, candy bars, candy sweetness. The but the but with like a it is really sweet up front with did it, did it, it switch? switched. Yes. The sweetness is in the front. Thank you. Very good. It it is really sweet and bittering, like caramely, not toffee, not, butterscotch. I'm not sure what it is in the very beginning. But it completely flip flops. But then the end is very herbal, menthol, -y. menthol, mint. Yeah, like uh, a very just herbal. Wow. On the whole, like end of it, and I feel like I could. You can yeah. see the like the evergreen mint blow off as you do that. Oh, that's weird. Gosh. 
It totally switched. Really cool. Water didn't make it worse on the palate. It just totally changed the experience. Yeah, it, it completely flip-flopped the nose, the palate, the in the finish. Just weird. Really, really weird. Yeah, no, the no, nose got more herbal. Yeah. The beginning got more sweet. The end got more herbal. And it was totally the opposite meat. Science. And that's weird. Mint just comes through. The menthol y minty. Mint, yeah. Mint, oh. Menthol. Yeah. But after the, the sweetness, that's fantastic. Uh, I, I still I think you're it. right. That is a co- that that has <sighs> there's a cocktail in there that that's just gonna be magical. It's I'm seeing it cocktail. more and more around, so hopefully it'll Nah, it's not gonna maybe drop. It, maybe yeah. maybe in the next couple of years it won't be eighty. Maybe it'll be fit sixty ish. Yeah, sixty something. I mean, it's a seven year old rye. There's and rye so much rye more. as a grain is more expensive than corn. Right. You know, That's corn true. is more subsidized. So so rye is a more expensive. So if you're doing seven years, honestly, 70, 70 bucks for seven years, probably a pretty good place. So eighty dollars is not that far off. Since True. they're barreling it, they're bottling it at one fourteen. Yeah, it's 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 a fair price. Yeah, it is a fair price for for the spirit and for transparency. I, I noticed this last night. I was reading like on the front. It says distilled at age in Indiana. Yep. for Lux Road Distillers. Right. Like you have no question of where it's made. No, no, no they're bought. very clear about they're it. Like you know, hey, we didn't do this or we didn't make this. No, and even better, <sighs> MGP changed their name. Right, when when that merger happened, they changed their name to something else, and I can't even, I couldn't even tell you what that was. It is about what I expected, honestly. So so, Ezra, I love like the old Ezra Seven Bourbon. I think is a really solid bourbon. Some mm-hmm. people think it's a little aggressive. I think it's really good. Yeah, I think that's a very good rye. Uh, I like the fact that they're blending the two because I think it puts it in a good middle spot somehow that kind of gets a little bit of the rye impact but it doesn't go crazy like 95.5 does and seven year is just a magical spot for rye. bourbons can be good at like four five six i think rye's become magical starting at like six seven six seven range oh christ now i got a little like red licorice on the nose what yeah that candy note can go everywhere like you can i can say like but it's so funny. It's so sweet oh. in the beginning, and then it's all like herbally, minty, menthol. Suck on a tea bag, and then like the end. this minty note that's not. It's not offensive. It's just no. Like, it's, it's not so an aggressive cool. minty note. Yeah, it's like no, a. I like it. Rye persons, yeah. If you're not a rye guy person, you're probably gonna go, "Oh, this is awful." But I'm not a rye person. I think that's a good rye. I might be wrong. I, I put that in. That that would be one of my upper upper rise. I mean, outside of B Tech, because B Tech's just silly. That's big stuff here, people. But like the uh, E H Taylor rye, delicious, amazing. Yeah. Like, so it's not quite that. But like the um, Overholt Bottle and Bond. Yeah. Yeah. Now the older Overholt Bottle and Bond is much cheaper. And but yeah, it's only 100 is, proof, yeah, right? But this is way more complex. This that. has got a lot more going on. Yeah. Uh, so this this beats that. Mm-hmm. Uh, so now I've got my holy crap! I can't find it and can't afford it. E. H. Taylor Rye. Yeah. I've got my seven year old old Ezra, pretty solid and might be able to find it. Mm-hmm. And then I got my old overhaul bottled and bond, and those are really the only guys I like. <laughs> <laughs> But I added one more to the list. Good you see this, find it, grab Buy it. Buy it. That's totally worth it. It's it's totally worth the $80. Grab it. You'll enjoy it. It might be at a distillery. I don't know. I mean, it could be. It, I mean, they could have it now. Yeah, they I have a dis- uh, So they have a distillery office building, whatever, yeah. in Bardstown. Mm-hmm. Um, but obviously, they're, they're mainly buying and aging in Indiana. I hope you enjoy our review of the Old Ezra 7 Rye. Very solid. Totally recommend it. And I think you should grab a bottle if you see one. For sure. And if you enjoy our review, we would love any kind of support. So just below the video, 
you know, click on click on any of those, and uh, we'd very much appreciate that. And we will see you on the next episode. Cheers. Thank you.